Hello? Hello? Who's there? Is anybody there? Shh. There's a man running. Well, now I'm feeling pressure. I'm just sitting. I haven't started my walk yet. I'll walk in a minute. I'm going to wait for some peeps to pop on here. I realize it is a very um, strange time for people to be on Facebook because maybe you're coming home from work or you're making dinner. I should be making dinner, but I will be honest with you. I am tired of feeding people. I will say it right now. You know you are too. I didn't realize when I became a mother that there would be so much feeding involved. Like the babies, I kind of got it, but then they just keep wanting to eat. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Yes, so anyway, um, I have every intention of going for a walk, but I will tell you right now, it is quite glorious sitting here under this tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's my pool. This is my community pool. It's lovely, and nobody's even there. I should take my kids swimming. But I'm going to go for a walk. Hi, hey, hey, hey. I know, right? They just eat, and they eat, and they eat, and they want to eat again. And I started to walk out the door. My husband's laying on the couch taking a nap. And he says, hey, what's for dinner? I said, a walk. Hi. Well, what do you think we're going to eat? I said, well, I'm not hungry. We had a huge lunch, and to be honest, we could use to skip a meal. Let's be honest. <sighs> he didn't like that answer. I said, well, we've got cereal, and we've got sandwiches, but I don't understand why I have to be the woman who decides what everybody eats. Especially now that Mr. Man is retired, don't you think? Because he is retired now, and so he can decide for himself. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm about to drop the bomb on him that he is going to be in charge of dinner two nights a week. I don't think that's too much to ask. Now, my face is a little bit on fire right now, I'll be honest with you, because sure I got too much sun. We were in Santa Barbara for the weekend or for the week, and I had a hat on. Yeah, but um the hat had holes in it. Now I had sunscreen on my face, but I did not reapply. And I am white as the day is long. I need to reapply. Oh, I was reapplying on my kids three, four times a day. Not myself. So a little burnt, a little crispy, a little flaky. No boy, no. And I realized in my last video, I was booking. Like the more I talk and the more fired I fired up I get, the faster that I walk. So this is a good thing for my workouts. But I'm gonna try to slow it down today. I will. I'm gonna hold myself back a little bit, just for you. Cause I get winded, you know? I get winded. Yes, oh my goodness, Claudia, rose water. I was spraying that stuff on myself like crazy. Put it on before my moisturizer, put my makeup on for dinner, put, well, only one night. Did you know that? I only wear makeup one night. I love that. But I'd put moisturizer or the rose water even on top of my makeup. I love that rose water. But yeah, I fried my face and it's not good. And I know better. I know better. So. Anyway, let's talk business. Let's talk beeswax, shall we? So it's funny because um, I had one, one of my girlfriends, she was, we were just chit-chatting and she brought up network marketing. She's like, I still don't get it. I'm like, what do you mean? I don't get network marketing. I don't get, I don't get what it is. I'm like, oh. I'm like, it's not difficult. You do it every day. She's like, no, I don't. Yeah, you do. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, um, Pokemon Go. She goes, oh my God, I freaking love that game. I go, yeah. How'd you know about it? She goes, oh, well, a couple of my friends are playing it. How do you know they're playing it? She's like, oh, they told me. They were posting about it on Facebook and it looked like so much fun. And so I downloaded it and I go, yeah, yeah. What about that Starbucks pink drink? Have you heard of that? She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's so good, so good. I go, yeah, how'd you hear about that? Oh yeah, well, my girlfriend, my girlfriend Jennifer, she says, oh my God, she loved that. So I went and I tried it and I'm like, God, I love it. Like, yeah. Did you tell anybody about it? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Put, put it on picture, uh, posted it on Instagram and Facebook. Come on. Yeah. That's network marketing. Except when I do it, I get paid. And you know what? I've done it my whole life. Cause I got a big mouth. 
Oh, you thought it was a card game. Yeah. No, there's Pokemon cards. And you guys, right now, see, I should be wearing sunglasses. But if I do, then I can't see you. I want to see you. It's, so it's a game that uses your location on your phone, you know, whatever. And it's quite fun. Um, we played it this week on vacation for the first time. And the children and I walked around like idiots with our phone because you'll be walking and like the girl, like you pick what you want to look like, you pick your avatar, and then the girl walks in whatever direction you're walking. And as you're walking, these little things light up. And so you tap on it and then you see like these little characters, but it's cute because it uses your camera. So like if I held it up and let's just say like right here, like there's that tree right there, right? So I hold my phone up and there might be like a little, a weird little dude. Why do they have to have those crazy names? Why can't they be like Sally or Bob or something? Some of those games are way out there. And then my little one, you know, he's like, mom, how do you say that name? How do you say that name? I don't know how you say that name. I don't know. So anyway, I just make them up. I just make up the names. But that game is very dangerous. There are people walking off cliffs out here. There's a girl got hit by a car. Like, let's play, but let's not be stupid. <sighs> you know, and it always seemed like when we were in Santa Barbara, the freaking Pokemon was in the middle of the pool. And my little one, he's like, Mom, I'll go get it. No, you won't. No, you won't. Not with this phone. Not with this phone. You won't. No. Mm -mm. No. That's a negatory good buddy. We will throw the little ball and hit that sucker in the pool. I'm not getting in. So anyway, gotta be honest, been home for a couple hours and Santa Barbara's only an hour away from where I live, but I'm missing my ocean right now. I got to hear the ocean all day, every day. And I'm gonna tell you, it did not suck. It did not suck. It's very calming to me. I feel very grounded. I need to maintain that feeling. So I'm going for a walk. I'm going to remain in nature as often as possible. You know where some people struggle to be consistent with their business? That is not a struggle for me. That is not to say that I am better than anybody else. No. Because this is my struggle. Remember the last time I went walking and we did it together? Well, that was the last time I went walking. So that's not good. There was a lady. I wonder if we'll see anybody playing Pokemon while we're here. That would be totes hilaire. Are you here, Will? I know, and I don't know if Will, the, the video bomber, is going to show up or not, for heaven's sakes. He's probably at work because it's not a holiday. But yes, so anyway, Pokemon Go is quite fun. And I said, what? Who did you talk to? Oh, you know. People just having a good time with their lives. Good for you, mister. Good for you. But, um, yeah. So, anyway. So I'm getting ready, putting my shoes on, getting ready to go for my walk. Started thinking about my fitness and started thinking how I have to be more committed. And I gotta do it on a regular basis. I do enjoy getting out. It's not that. I love the fresh air. I don't like it when it's hot. It's not too bad. The sun's going down. It's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. But, um, but I started thinking, you know, <clears throat> been doing some coaching calls and talking with some ladies and there's some ladies who aren't totally happy with where they're at in their business and they're thinking about trying other businesses and, you know, hey, whatever blows your skirt up, whatever business product speaks to your heart that's where you should be if that's unique how you do it rock on if it's not hey that's okay too you have to be in a place that speaks to your heart but I'm gonna tell you something if you you wonder what I'm doing right now I'm chasing the shade <laughs> but if you are chasing a company reconnecting if you're just chasing dollar signs <sighs> you are never going to get there you're never gonna get there if that's your motivation I'm not saying I'm not saying that money is a bad thing money is a wonderful thing 
And they say that, you know, money doesn't solve your problems, but if your problems are money related, this is going to solve your problems. I'll tell you that right now. It keeps trying to reconnect and it's aggravating me. But, let's say hi to Erin. District champs. I'm so proud of our boys. I mean, they're not my boys, but they are my boys. It's the same town. I'll claim it. Anyway, um, but I find that when people are just chasing dollar signs, their heart's not in it. Their heart's not in the right place. And, you know, they think that if they're not successful or they're only, they only get to a certain level with one company and they think they're going to change companies and that's going to change. Well, the problem is, is you're taking you wherever you go because wherever you go, there you are. And you're just there with yourself. And that is the problem. It can be. Oh, here comes somebody. Shh. Don't talk. Don't say anything. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to go that way too, but I don't want to walk with him because I don't know him. We don't walk with strange men. Oh, just wait a minute. Because that's where the shade is. Okay. But yeah, wherever you go, there you are. And the deal is, if you're, if you get to a certain level within your company, and you're stuck there, and I've said this before, but it bears repeating. If you're stuck there, then what that says, and this doesn't even have to be network marketing. You could be working retail in a, in a retail store. And let's say you get to assistant manager and you just can't get that promotion to manager. It's because your skill set is not there yet. Doesn't mean you're a loser. It doesn't mean you suck. Everything can be learned. It just means it's time to learn and go to the next level. What are you missing? We all have room to grow. We all have room to grow. And if I would have started with Unique back when, you know, I was fresh out of college, it would have taken me longer to get where I am now because I didn't have the skills. And if I would have done it in my early 30s, it would have taken me longer than it did now faster than my 20s but you know every every year every decade I'm learning a whole lot more you know because I'm working on my skills so that's the thing so it's like when you see somebody who struggles with one company and then they move to another company and another company and another company and then eventually they hit it it has nothing to do with the products sales is sales it has to do with they finally did the work. They finally realized that there are no there are no shortcuts. And yes, Tracy, you need to love the product. Oh my gosh, of course you need to love the product. Because if you don't love the product, then all you're doing is chasing a paycheck. I hate to live that way. I've lived that way before. Most people live that way because they don't have a choice. You know? But with network marketing, you do have a choice because especially like I'll just speak from just from unique because that's the one that I know is you know we don't have any auto ships I didn't even know what an auto ship was when I started but it's where remember the remember the uh, those of you that are old enough the like tape of the month club or the CDs or you get five CDs for a dollar right and you're like woohoo you know or for a penny yeah but then every month if you don't send that card back in time, then they send you a whole bunch of music that you don't want, and it is expensive. Oh my gosh. I'd get like three CDs, and I'd get a bill for 50 bucks, and I'd about have a heart attack. And I'd have to send it back. Such a pain. Because you know my hatred for the post office. If you don't, I hate the post office. I'm not, I don't hate the post office. I'm not like postal kind of person. I'm just saying. I don't care what's happening over here. Calm down. <sighs> You'd think that our foundation was backordered or something for all the fuss. Calm it down. Bring it in, boys. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I don't like going to the post office. <gasps> I send my babysitter to the post office now. Mm -hmm. BMG Music. That's it, Stephanie. And the Disney Movie Club. Yes, see? Ugh. Oh. They all do that. So thankfully, we don't have that. So we're not pestering our customers because I don't want anybody calling me a bad name once a month, right? 
and uh, you know we don't have to keep stock we don't have to um, you know like inventory or anything like that it's just the $99 that in in the US $99 that we spend to join and you get your kit with all the makeup in it and then um, and then that's it so Oh, we're still, I guess me and Mr. Dogman, we're just going in the same places. What's up, B? What is it about bugs that makes them want to swim right into your ear hole? Oh my God. All right, well, I'm just gonna follow you, Mr. I don't even care. Walking his dogs. My dog wanted to come on the walk, but I said no. It's hard for me to concentrate and handle her. I mean, she's little, but. So what were we talking about? So we're talking about um, yeah, so your heart has to be in it because you don't want to just be chasing a paycheck. That is no way to live. But if it's something that you truly love, then it should be effortless. It should be effortless. But the trick is, too, is a lot of times we hold ourselves back because of the story we tell ourselves. Like if you tell yourself that you're annoying people, I mean, don't be annoying. But there's a difference between being annoying and just sharing what you love, you know? Don't go around going, buy this, buy this, buy this, because I hate that. That's annoying. But if you just genuinely have stuff that you love, and like I've seen all these pictures going around right now with combinations of like lip liners and lip glosses and um, lip bonbons. Oh my God, I could look at those all day long. I have all that stuff, but some of those combinations I never even thought of, and they're just so beautiful. So I love that, and as women, we love makeup. We love makeup, but it is quite ridiculous to think that if you only got to a certain level with one company that you're going to get to a higher level with another company because you need more skill sets do you see what i'm saying like okay when i think back um when i used to work for eddie bauer so when i first started i was an assistant manager and I knew people who were assistant managers and they wanted a manager position and Eddie Bauer wouldn't hire them for a manager position. So they'd go to the Gap and they'd try to get a job there as a store manager. But the Gap would start them out as assistant manager. And they're like, yeah, well, I can get to manager a lot faster with the Gap than I can with Eddie Bauer. I'm like, how do you know? Like, are you psychic? How do you know? How do you know that? Who could say that? Oh, I know where he lives. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so he just walks them around the park. That's interesting. Learn a lot about people when you observe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but I'm like, how do you know that, right? How do you know you're going to get there faster? And the thing is, I stayed with Eddie Bauer, and I got to a to store manager, and they were still assistant manager over at the Gap. But people get impatient, and they get all ants in their pants, and they can't sit still. It reminds me of my seven-year-old. Drives me crazy. Just sit still. Be still. And figure out why you're at the place where you're at you're at the level where you're at where do you need to grow where what do you need to learn you know it reminds me also because I was thinking about you know <laughs> working out and going for a walk and stuff it's the same kind of thing if I go to the gym because who's calling oh, it's leaves sometimes it feels like somebody's following if you go to the gym, let's say, because you want to lose 10 pounds. So I join the gym and I go to the gym two days a week. After four or five, six weeks, oh, I haven't lost that 10 pounds. Stupid gym. I should join a different gym. I bet if I joined a different gym, I could lose 10 pounds. So I join a different gym and I go two days a week. Duh. That's all I'm saying. Duh. Or maybe in the beginning I'm really excited and I'm really amped up. Oh God, William Sayer. <laughs> William Sayer, he's my bomber. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> near your house, Mr. Will. I'm gonna have to turn around. I'm gonna have to abort the mission. But yeah, so let's just say that I'm really gung-ho when I switch gyms because I'm excited because it's a new gym. Let me go the other way. So I start going three or four days a week. Woohoo! I start dropping weight and I'm like, that was it. I needed a new gym. 
That's all it was. But the thing is, if I would have done that, worked three or four days a week, worked out at the old gym, I could have got to the same place. And everything that I already worked for at that gym, you know, would have already been there. I wouldn't have been starting over. I wouldn't have been starting fresh. That's what gets me, is when people work so hard, then they just kind of lose their gusto and they lose their momentum. Just because they get bored or life gets in the way and they don't know how to restart. And instead of trying to figure out how to restart, instead of trying to find new motivation, instead of trying to learn a new skill, instead of trying to, you know, reinvent the wheel. That's what we do all the time. We reinvent the wheel. Got to find new ways. Because I get bored easily. I don't know about you. I get bored very easily. And so, um, which is why thanks for walking with me because you're helping me. But when I start to get bored, and I do, I get bored then that's my clue. Time to kick it up a notch. Let's find something new. Because if I'm bored, my customers are bored. My presenters are bored. Let's find something new. And let's have a business owner's mentality and not an employee's mentality. Let's not think that we're gonna sit around and wait for other people to do it for us. Let's not think that, oh, I need a new way to do a party or, oh, I need new graphics or, oh, I need, um, you know, an opportunity video. Does anybody have one? Hi! Don't ever ask for one. Make one. Be the change you want to see in your business. How about that? You like that I walk and I do life? Yes! Dig deep and find it. Because it's there. It's all there within you. You know, I've read in a few different places where they say that, you know, the answer to anything is already within you. It's just you discovering, you know? And when you come upon challenges in your life, it's because you're leveling up. You know, it's like a video game. It's like Pokemon Go. You're leveling up. Time to level up. Time to learn something new. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. And you know, if, you know, I see a lot of presenters who get stuck at a certain level. And they're like, you know, I just want to hit black status, which if any of you here are not with Unique, you know, that's the top level of the company. And they're like, I just want to be black status. Everything's going to be fine when I hit black status. No, it's not going to be fine. Because even if you hit black status, are you going to be able to maintain black status? Are you going to be able to handle the workload that comes with being black status? Are you going to be able to manage a team of thousands? Because, you know, if there's ever a hiccup with a back order or shipping or what anything that happens with any company anything that is completely normal within any business and you stress out because you've got three people messaging you what if you had 60 people messaging you would you lose your schnoodle would you shat yourself hmm? you might you might so you're not going to get to that level until you can handle the level you're at until the level you're at becomes easy you won't level up and you have to practice. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I see this over and over with my son. He's always wanting new games on his iPad. So I get him a new game. And inevitably in the first week, he drives us all crazy because he's like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. <sighs> Help me. I'm like, I don't know how to play. You have to practice. But you know, I'm seeing these games as very good, uh, a very good metaphor and good experience for him to learn that you have to work for something and it's not easy. You have to keep trying and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna wanna throw the game across the room, but if you do, your mom's gonna whoop your butt because it's a very expensive iPad. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So I think that the biggest, the biggest tool that we can give ourselves, that we can give our teams, is learning patience patience young grasshopper and honesty being honest with ourselves and saying am i where i'm at because of the amount of time i've been working 
because of where I've been focused in my business. Maybe I've been focused on the wrong things, you know? And sometimes your upline, sometimes your upline knows what the issue is. They don't know how to tell you. And that's where it becomes really hard to be a coach. Because to be a coach, it's very hard to be someone's friend and a coach at the same time. It's actually kind of impossible. You know, it's like they say, like with being a mom, you know, your kids don't need a friend, they need a mom. And your team doesn't need a friend, they need a coach. Because, I don't know if you've ever played sports, but I didn't always like my coaches. I respected my coaches, but sometimes I wanted to kick them in the shins or whatever happened to be there within the vicinity because they push you. They push you because they see something in yourself that you don't see. And when you're ready to quit, they don't let you quit. Well, let's just have a seat, shall we? Because it's hot over there. I'm getting a little bit hot. It's all right, we can take a break. We can be kind to ourselves. This is called self-care. This is the self-care portion, okay? <sighs> but yeah, um, there was a conversation um, that I saw between some leaders and they were saying, you know, you know, are you friends with your leaders on your team? Are you friends with your presenters? I feel like I'm friends with everybody on my team, but I'm also a coach, so I'm not best friends with them because if you're best friends it's really hard it's not impossible there are some people you could be best friends with and still be their coach but generally speaking it's very difficult to be a coach and do the hard stuff and do the hard talks and the hard coaching if you're besties because I feel like, especially women, I feel like we take it better from, we're less likely to get pissed off at a coach as we are with one of our girlfriends. There are rare instances where you can. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. In most cases, whatever is holding you back, it is quite possible that someone up your tree, in your upline, knows why. And so, if you are brave enough to allow them to be honest with you without consequences and repercussions <laughs> and you hunting them down, then I would encourage you to ask and to say, listen, I want to get to the next level. Where do you think I have room to grow? What do you think I should work on? Because um, you can pretty much train yourself. There are so many books out there so many books out there um, you know think of it think of it like you, you know you're going to college to be a network marketing professional and the way you do that is you read you watch videos but then you have to do okay you can't become a chef by sitting in a classroom reading recipes you have to try and try and try and I mean it's probably why I need to walk Daddy, reconnect already how many times have you made brownies in your life? Do they always come out perfect? No! No! Sometimes they're overcooked. Some, it depends on the pan you use. It depends on, on the temperature. Are you using convection? Heaven help us with the convection. I'm just figuring that out. But you know, it's like, it's like is it going to be too gooey? Have you, have you, you know, is it, or how long are you cooking it? Did you take it out before it got too cooked? But then it keeps cooking when it's sitting there cooling down. You know, it does cook for a little bit longer. So, um, you know, if you struggle to make the perfect brownie, it may take you doing a few online parties before you get it down. Hate to tell you. Hate to tell you. It may take you a little bit. So, those are just some of my thoughts. Some of my thoughts. You must put into practice... You must not quit the gym and stay at the same gym um, because you're going to get better results if you stay put. Because I look at all the people um, that you've got on your team with all of the time that you've spent. And if you're just joining right now, you're completely confused and you have to go back to the beginning because it's all these random squirrels and I'm bringing it together. I'm bringing it home right now and so you're going to be confused. But 
you spend all this time building a team and then you think, oh, I think I can make more money faster, easier over there. And you can't. And why would you walk away from all of these people who have trusted you? Not just your presenters who've trusted you, but your, but your customers who have trusted you. And now you're going to go somewhere else and you're going to say, oh no, but this one really is, this one really is the best. No, this one really is my favorite. Like I said, that other one was my favorite, but like this one, like it's really my favorite. Honest. Promise. Promise. And everybody's looking at you thinking, uh-huh, you're just after me for a buck. And you're just here long enough until some other sparkly, shiny little thing causes you to go squirrel. And then off you go again. And I'm not following you down that rabbit hole. Not following you down that rabbit hole. Take care of what you've got. Take care of what you've got. Instead of looking elsewhere. Kind of sounds like marriage. Take care of what you got before you go looking elsewhere. Right? Because all shiny new and he's going to take you out to dinner and call you sweetie and open the door for you for a while. And then you're going to find yourself he's laying his lazy butt on the couch and won't get up to help feed those kids. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I'm not really kidding. No, Darren doesn't do that. He's great. He's great. I'm just using that as an example. You know, sometimes I tell stories. Don't believe everything I say. I like to use the metaphors. So anyway, all right, people, I am heading home. I am going to whip up the world's best <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches for these people who like to eat. Oh my God, we had the biggest lunch. I am not hungry. But anyway, if you have any questions, as always, post them below and I will scroll through. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and that you're doing something for yourself. And um, yeah, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.